Welcome to Sheet Metal Tech Tips. Today we will be going over tolerances. In this video we will be covering consistent sheet metal tolerances, process capabilities, and feature tolerances. As we look at tolerances as they relate to one surface on this chart, a tolerance of plus or minus five thousandths from edge to edge, labeled A, is achievable. Notice that when one bend is introduced, the tolerance is increased to plus or minus ten thousandths, noted I on this chart, and opens up to fifty thousandths when measuring bend to bend as noted J. When looking at tolerances over multiple surfaces on this chart, we can see how tolerance changes with multiple bends. This is a result of the combination of material stretching and process capability of the equipment. These following pictures show the range of dimension in a short run part. The first picture measures this part at 1.419. The next part on picture 2 measures 1.427 and the last part measured is at 1.418. All these parts were run at the same time on the same equipment, but give different readings. So to recap, when designing a sheet metal part, sheet metal tolerances should be considered in the design intent of the part and its functionality to be successful. Following these tolerance guidelines keeps a part within the process capabilities of the fabrication equipment, allows for lower costs and shorter lead times for a project. Sheet metal parts have different tolerance expectations when compared to machined parts, which should be considered during the design process. Sheet metal parts are typically more cost effective than machine parts if tight tolerances are not required. When adding features to a design, it should be noted and taken into account the change in tolerance to maintain the design intent of the part, keeping its costs down and achieving the shortest lead times possible. This concludes our video on tolerances. For more information on tech tips, contact our design team.